Um, I thought um, they, you know, they took every opportunities, uh, every opportunity that they created. You know, where I felt we created a lot of opportunities, especially in the first half. We parked in the in the 22 and didn't take our opportunities. And they, they they're a great side. You know, all the teams go through um, ups and downs. We had our ups and our, our ups and downs. And you know, in in a tier tier one <laughs> nation like this, they'll always find a way to come back. And I think. You know, um, if, if the top ten in all rugby is in contention, you know, for going forward. So you talk about those opportunities, and then just an instant reflection. Was it just a case of just not being clinical enough, or just the defence and the lobbies were just yeah. a bit too kind of slow? What do you count that down to? No, I think of both. You know, I think of both. I'm going to have to look at the game and see. Um, um, obviously afterwards, but I thought, yeah, we could have taken, so we could have been a little bit more clinical. But the defence was good at time one, getting a. Um, um, a steal, you know, in the in the 22. So yeah, we'll but we'll have a good look um, afterwards. Jack, just uh, on those opportunities, it's it's something you've you've addressed a lot over, over the last year. Just from your perspective, um, you must have been happy with the way you built back into the game after going 10 points to build down yeah. early. But how frustrating is that inability to convert? Yeah, Matt, you, uh, you spot on. I think if you look at the uh, the last test against Wales, there was three times they do over the uh, uh, the try line, and it was disallowed. Against New Zealand, the last test match, we were over the try line three or four times, and it was disallowed. And tonight, uh, I thought uh, we were over the try line a couple of times, or close, or five meters or two meters from the try line, and, and it was, and and we didn't score. And again, I think uh, we, we it's it's. I think it's 50-50. Hats off to 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 Australia. I thought their defence was good, and uh, uh, yeah, and and yeah, we didn't capitalise. So it is it's frustrating. But like CSC, I think uh, we're all emotional now, so we will have to have a good look and see why. But yes, we 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 came down in there 22 this the the back end of the first half, uh, and uh, yeah, we we just didn't get any conversion of points. And you ended the game with. Superior territory and possession, and, and a very dominant set piece. So, uh, something to build on, surely for next week again as well. Yeah, I think I said it now in the change room. You know, that's a that's a beauty of rugby. You you've got seven days, and then you get another opportunity. So, for us, it's listen, uh, take our lessons and have a good look at the the game, and uh, then uh, change a couple of things if we have to, and then sure. it's up to the next week. Yellow card. Yes, I'm going to try and stay clear of that. But um, yeah, look, it is what it is. Uh, the referees made a decision, and and we got to live by it. Yeah, that would have been kind of important. Yeah. Kind of no, yeah, um, yeah. I, th I think the yellow card um, uh, obviously came at a time, uh, especially I, th I thought they capitalised nicely on it. So yeah, it was. Uh, up one when you lose a nine, especially on defense. Um, yeah. Sorry, Jack, why are you trying to stay clear of it? We don't comment on what the ref decision. That's his job. We, yeah. we, we worry about what we can control. Yeah. We, I think defensively, looking back at it, I think we, I could have controlled it better. We could have controlled it better. I don't think we, we, we control. Uh, sorry, ma'am, I was, I was thinking you were asking about the decision from the referee's point of view. So, no, so, that I'm staying clear of, but listen, the, the handling of it, I thought we handled it. Uh, um, I'm staying clear, but I, I agree with it. If it's if it's a penal, if it's a yellow card, it's a yellow card. I just thought we could have handled it better. Uh, and and when I say we, I mean us as a team, coach uh, mm -hmm. and player. Just the uh, Marika tackle. Um, how significant a moment do you feel that might have been as well? And what did you make of his performance overall? Oh yes, he's a quality rugby player, and I thought that was that, that almost showed, I would say, the desperation of uh, not just he's. There was a couple of them, uh, the desperation tackles uh, on their try line, and and yeah, that, that's why I say a lot of credit has to go to uh, the Wallabies in terms of how they defended. They really, uh, they really put their bodies on the line. You spoke, I mean, the lead up about how tough it is to win here. The record. Shows that as well. I mean, you walk away today wondering why that is, or were there any closer to an answer as to why it's so hard to win? Yeah, I think I think we got some answers answers today. Uh, uh, obviously, we yeah, from our perspective, uh, and uh, the key thing is now to put those answers uh, that we got into into momentum for next week.
yeah, there's uh, again signs in this game of, of little bits of evolutions and balls out the back, a, a willingness to play, but handling errors uh, really cost you momentum. Does that mean you, you, you carry on going in, in, in this direction? Yeah, no, we nothing had changed in our, obviously in our game plan. Uh, we had opportunities that we went for, and you know, Jack always says, you know, if you make a knock on, you don't do it intentionally. So we're always going to go for the opportunities. You know, we play a kicking game so we can get to those positions where we can um, do, um, allow the guys to to show what they made of, you know, and so they can uh, do use their circus act. And today, you know, those last passes obviously didn't go into end. Hopefully next week they, they'll stick. And just your comments on the set and the dominance that you actually managed to achieve their full for, for big period. Yeah, no, we it, it was good, but it didn't, you know, we it can always get better, you know. Um if we're in the five meter line, we want to make sure that we can uh, go over the trial line, you know, that's that, that's how we look at it. And obviously, yeah, especially when they I think they, they got one back on the trial line. So we gotta make sure it's constant the whole time and it's something that we pride ourselves in. And that's why they went into this in the five in the six two split as well. So Looking forward to next week. It's going to be a big battle again. Guys, can we just take some questions from our, our local media as well, please? Uh, Nathan, you can ask your question. Uh, thank you, Zina. Um, I just got two questions, if I may. If not, I'll just go with the one. Uh, Sia, you surpassed John De Villiers with the second most caps as box captain. Since your first one in 2018, can you just talk us through the challenges and the good moments you faced as a captain thus far? Honestly, um, been captain in this Springbok team in this environment that's been set out since since uh, 2018, um, we always um, see it as it's a cap or a jacket that you put in the door when you walk in because we have um, every single player is a leader in our team and we've got a, a strategy that everybody takes charge and and my job is to make sure that you know i i i talk to the ref and the most important thing is to make sure that i, I play you know uh, i play well that's the most important thing and just being um, a spring more rugby player is an honor for me there's nothing greater than that uh, for us in south africa and and yeah i'm just grateful that you know i have a, an amazing coaching team that, that that look after me and my and my teammates too with, with you no know, believe in shared leadership um yeah and there's been great moments obviously um, that um, everybody knows but yeah uh, for mm -hmm. now the focus is on next week on australia yeah the corner thank you zina thank you sia thank you jacques Jacques, uh, I can, uh, see, I can also answer this, but we, we heard again today you talk about uh, the opportunities in Wales, against Wales, opportunities against New Zealand, opportunities tonight or today. And then also when you go a man up, uh, you seem to lose momentum. It happened against New Zealand at a crucial st stage and today again, it happened at a crucial stage. Um, what, what is the reason for that? I mean, uh, uh, that's the game costing. I mean, you can see the entire momentum shift uh, is it game management? What is the problem there? To be honest, um, like see, uh, we probably will have to have a look at it. Uh, I'm not sure. Um, maybe a little bit naive tactics from our side. Uh, I, I'm honestly l last week. I can say for uh, we when we went to when New Zealand went to 40 men. I, I thought. Uh, we were a little bit naive in terms of how we handled that. And when I say we, I mean uh, coaches, I mean players. I, uh, it's not the players. I thought we were a little bit naive there in terms of how we closed out that last seven games. Uh, last seven minutes, uh, maybe could have kept the ball in hand a little bit more. Uh, but we spoke about that and uh, uh, we addressed it. And again, I'm saying it's not a player thing. It's it's us. I, I felt we could have been more clinical and clear with messages coming from up top. But tonight, I'm not sure um, we will have to, I'll have to have a good look at it. Uh, but you, you're right. When when we went down to 14 men, I really thought they put us under nice pressure. But when they were um, 14 men, uh, we struggled to get uh, the ball into the space where that winger was, you know. So, yeah. Dylan? Uh, thank you, Zina. <clears throat> Just a question for Jacques, please. Um, Jacques, uh, another worrying trend um, that seems to emerge is um, the team's sort of uh, starting games a bit sluggishly. Um, did the same against uh, New Zealand at Ellis Park, and I think in the first test against Wales. Um, what do you put that down to? 
Yes, now I can't put my finger on that. I mean, I don't think you can control a good start, but you can because I mean, uh, they they restart the, the the game. We expected the ball to come down in the middle. Uh, they won uh, that turnover, and from there on, they put pressure on us and they scored. You know, um, so you can't you can't oh, you can't plan for a good start. Uh, I mean, but you can plan to to bring intensity. Um, uh, so yeah, no, I don't, I, I, I don't know why why that happened. To be honest, Indra. Hello, Jock. Hello, Sia. Um, Hello, Indra. Jock, what frustrated you more? Some shocking calls by Paul Williams or the be below par performances of some of your players? No, listen. Uh, we 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 have to, uh, Indra. We, we we can only look at ourselves. We can we we can't control anything other than than what we can control. And, uh, you know, so we will only look at ourselves. Uh, guys, we'll just take a few more questions before we bring in the players. Um, Mubin? Hi, Zina. Thanks. Hi, Sia. Hi, Jacques. Uh, Jacques, uh, just three key uh, problems at the moment. Uh, Dylan spoke about the poor starts. Um, could you touch on the defence at the moment, um, Jacques? We're leaking lots of tries at the moment. I know that's your department. Um, is there a specific reason why? Is it the defensive uh, system or is it individual? And then also, Sia, I have asked you this before and I'm going to ask you again. Um, it seems that whenever you guys are in the ascendancy and you have momentum, you seem to turn down the three points or take the points you know, for polls. Um, why is that? Um, surely we have to, bo uh, have to build up um, you know, a score, scoreboard pressure. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, um, I think we did go for polls today. We went for polls opportunities and obviously the we we missed a couple and then we uh, yeah and then we went for touch. You know obviously the 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 score got a bit bigger and then we also were close to the touchline and we thought our mall was working and we we got I think three or four penalties in the set piece. So we went for set piece because it was working at the time. Yeah in terms of defense I agree. Um mm -hmm. and yeah I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, um, maybe yeah, I'm not sure why why we leaked tries today. Uh, the first one was from a turnover uh, where we struggled to get uh, control back. Uh, the second one I think was when we were 14 men, uh, and I, I thought the attack to the side uh, where we obviously didn't have so we 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 had to use a a, a, a winger as a nine take somebody over so we exposed the one side where there was less numbers and they did well to attack there and the last try yes we we knew it was coming uh we uh the, the inside ball close to the racket we've trained it numerous times during the week and uh, it was just a, a error by a player 